If you are looking for the best sleeping bag for car camping, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and started it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So, let's get started. The number one position is dominated by the North Face Homestead Twin. All the testers agreed that the very wide twin bed size rectangular cut could fit two people if they wanted to cuddle. The 20 degree rating is a little ambitious because the wide cut less warms air out, plus there is no hood. I'd trust this bag in the 40s but would pack a blanket or wear extra layers if there is any chances of a freeze. We all love the loud graphic on the front, there are four designs to choose from and the bag gets bonus points for its special cell phone pocket. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Kelty Revival. The bag has a broad temperature rating because although it's a normal rectangular bag on the outside, there is a half blanket attached inside. If you're using the bag and the blanket, it's supposed to keep you warm below freezing. For warmer temperatures, you can unzip halfway and roll away the top of the bag, leaving just the blanket over your torso. Testers love those built-in adjustments. Like the Narface home seat above, this bag sits in the 40 degrees range. On the outside, you get brushed cotton face fabric that's hurtier than ripstop nylon. Just in case you find yourself sleeping directly on the ground after too many campfire limitations, it happens. The soft cotton interior had the second best next to skin feel in this test, but all that cotton doesn't do it any favors in moisture management. Finally, there's the attached pillow pocket that keeps your head padding from moving around at night. The number 3 position is held by Big Agnes Hawk Park 20. If you are tall, you ripped or both, this bag is for you. It fits people up to 6 foot 6 and has extra room at the shoulders and chest as well. If you're not that big, the bag just offers a lot of room. Unlike some of the other sleeping bags we have tested, this one is fairly true to its temperature rating and works well when there is frost on the ground. All the testers love the brushed curtain interior, but be warned, cotton absorbs moisture, so you don't want to sweat too much. Also because the bag is so big, you need a 25-inch wide pad if you want full ground coverage. That's not a concern if you're sleeping on a Paco pad or in a rooftop tent with memory foam. Next at number 4, we have Eddie Bauer Snow Line 20. We winced a little when testing a car camping mummy bag because who wants to confine when you are camping out of a car? Our resonant mummy cuts are usually warmer, so this bag is designed for car camping where it's too cold. Like up at 10,000 feet in Colorado, the cut isn't as severe as a backpacking model and one 6-foot tester with broad shoulders had plenty of room for rolling over. We also like the nylon interior and exterior which help manage moisture on wet nights, testing in the Pacific Northwest. Finally, at number 5 with Rico Top Trail Pod 29. This is our second mummy pick because the shape keeps its light and small, it weighs a mere 2.3 pounds and packs down to the size of a small watermelon, which is a great when you own a Prius instead of a Tacoma. It was just as warm at 80 Bauer Snow Line 20 in terms of warmth and had just enough room to thrash around. Testers also appreciated the intuitive kinch down hood, which was easy to operate after a night of drinking. All that for less than a Benjamin. That's all for today. We upload product review videos in every single day, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.